climbing a mountain, jumping off rocks in a wild rope course. We're with the kids and getting wet as we go co-steering in Aple Chow. Well, welcome to a brand new series of Drone and Phone. The summer is here and actually over the last couple of summers I've been discovering great things to do with kids here in Hong Kong. I'm going to give you five different episodes and bring different kids along and see what they think of it. This is some of their recommendations of best things to do in Hong Kong in the summer. Today I have with me, what's your name? Victoria. Victoria, how old are you? Nine. Nine, and you? I mean, Pizza. Nine nine. Pizza, what's your, how old are you, Pizza? Seven. Seven, and what's your name? Austin Pond. Austin, and how old are you? Five. And you? Eight. And a half. And how old are you? Eight. So we have between five and nine year olds today. We're going to go up to Mount Johnson. We're on Aple Chow. We're going to go down and we're going to do a bit of co-steering. We have some safety gear just to be sure it's hot today. Plenty of water. Everyone's got helmets mm. and we've got some flotation devices as well just to keep everyone safe. It's going to be a great <laughs> fun afternoon. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Ah! As the summer holidays kick in, finding things to do with the kids can be a challenge in Hong Kong. It's hot and often wet, but there are still activities you can do outside that will keep the children out in the fresh air. For this series, Alyssa, Austin and I have picked five of our favourite summer outdoor adventures, starting this week with coast steering. Coast steering involves traversing across a coastline by scrambling across rocks and swimming in the sea. Has no shortage of rocky coastline and warm waters to give it a go, but our firm favourite is the stretch between Aple Pai and the Horizon Plaza on Aple Chow. If you start at the bus station above the Leitong MTR station, the scramble up Mount Johnson is pretty short and manageable even on hot summer days. Why does the children eat their homework? Because it was a piece of cake. Well, one thing that is important on these trips is that you'll see that volunteers have put ropes in, which we're very grateful for, and we're going to need those all day today. But it is important that you understand these are not maintained, and therefore they can erode. So the adult should go first, check the ropes, make sure they're working properly before you let the kids put their weight on. It's not so important on this section, but it will become more important. Excuse Once we get onto the rocks, here they go, look at them. Yes? Ah. Oh, I can see Disney! I can see Ocean Park! Okay guys, they've taken the ropes out. We're going to have to climb down. Okay, so we're going to have to be very careful going down. You got your helmets on? Check! Okay guys, what do we do? What do we do when we go downhill? Bend knees! Bend, Bend knees! Bend your knees. So we're going to try and keep, keep our knees bent when we're going down the hill and that's going to stop us from slipping, okay? One, two, three, go! Once at the beach, we take time to enjoy a swim and engage in a quick beach cleanup. After we've all cooled down, we put on life jackets and helmets and start the coast steer. There are a few safety tips that are important to note when co-steering with kids. We suggest you hire a professional guide or go with a guided group if you're not experienced at co-steering. Make sure the kids have good grip on their shoes and wear helmets and life jackets. Always go ahead of the kids so you can help them through any tricky parts. Good. Now you're gonna... It was so fun! Now you're going to go over that way? Even go. fun! Our kids love to jump off rocks into the water, which can also throw up some dangers. Always check the area where they will jump has no hazards, and there is an easy exit for them. Once that's done, it's time to fly. Oh, 
Okay, now this next part here is the most dangerous and the, the toughest part. So we're going to go one by one. I'm going to come back and get you and I will secure you at all times. All right, but you listen to me. This route is about six kilometers and took us about six hours with breaks and time to swim. Just about the right length to tire them out without pushing them beyond their limits. Well, that's the end of this episode. If you are not an experienced coaster, please make sure you hire a guide. It can be dangerous in parts. How was it for you guys? Great! Seems like they enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe wherever you see this. My name's DJ. My name's Alyssa. My name's <laughs> and this is Drone and, and Fire! Look at these guys going. Sorry, I'll start again. With my kid. <laughs> oh, the guy cut. Okay, last time. A nine years Goodbye. old. Now what we have done over <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>